peace love and life family i hope the sun is shining wherever you are i hope that you're living in your greatest purpose let's get into your messages i'm hearing something scorpios about pushing through pushing through uh queen of pentacles may have to do with your finances pushing through you're almost there i'm hearing you're you are really as good as you think you are if not better some um some of y'all need to be reminded well that kind of sounds harsh right <laughs> so, <laughs> you get to be reminded scorpios that you really are as fabulous as you think you are as awesome as you think you are yeah that's what i'm hearing scorpios push through mm, ten of wands definitely an energy of pushing through um this is definitely an energy of pushing through and this right here the star represented represents you it represents you being so much more than you think you are and this energy right here i'm getting that there's there may actually be people watching you wanting to wanting to learn from you and more so they're looking for your support they're looking for your assistance and with this energy here with the ten of wands it seems like some sort of a like a distant place i'm getting uh, an energy of like international type of organization that may actually be an international spiritual organization you're being surveyed perhaps by this group of people and these light bulbs represent the various minds the various people that are looking and watching you um they're learning of you they're learning about you um they're learning how you're able to push through they're learning how connected you are to the cosmos um scorpios so push through you really are as good as you think you are look at that the world represented here this is absolutely an international organization that i'm picking up on someone's really watching you scorpios someone some some group some international you know type of like spiritual group of some sort is really watching you they think that you are as good uh if not better they actually may think that you are better uh than you think you are scorpios in terms of what you can provide in terms of spiritual guidance there's a spiritual group of spiritual organization am i saying that right there is a a spiritual organization a organization am i saying that right spirit there is a international spiritual organization that's that's what i want to say <laughs> that's that okay so let's see this page of wands like hmm page of wands definitely getting an international vibe from here uh some of y'all needed to hear this because there's something that you're doing okay so um let's see is this page of swords representing scorpio mm -hmm. well yes it is your energy and it is about you it is about you it's 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 it is representing you because um this is an energy that's going to bring you this financial abundance you're being you're I'm hearing like you're highly sought after scorpios by this organization they're very affluent organization old money like this is like uh this is like an old family um this is possibly you know a family that's part of like some one percent group of some sort like uh, what like they really have they have some money okay they have some money 
they really have some money and this page of swords represents them observing and watching you watching various aspects of you uh, many of you they're watching what you do creatively okay and this may represent that the page of wands um so this ten of pentacles in this page of swords represents this really it they're they're almost hmm, i'm getting like underground like you know mm, may not be underground they're not very well known organization um it, i'm getting this energy that they're yeah they they're definitely affluent watching you studying you studying different aspects of you uh they may be wanting to give you some sort of invitation of some sort mm, a, a, some they may actually want to give you some sort of a solid offer um solid offer for what spirit okay so they may actually want you to be involved in solving some something perhaps perhaps some mysteries perhaps mm, some stuff <laughs> that you're not used to scorpios some stuff is what i'm getting mm -hmm. um there's a lot of mystery coming out of here a lot of energy of mystery like this organization in itself is a mystery uh partly because not a lot of people know about them and the other aspect of mystery that i'm getting is that they actually may want you to be involved in helping them perhaps to hmm look at cases look at various things uh for many of you they may have already reached out to you kind of like incognito and you didn't know because this also represents some sort of like um this also represent communication they may have already communicated communicated with you perhaps through social media so uh many of you they have reached out many of you they have not or they will um they're watching how you're able to handle things <sighs> they're watching how you're able to handle things okay i'm trying to get some more information about this five of swords um and this right here is an energy of possibly someone that may have already reached out to you if they haven't they will uh this page of wands is an energy of someone basically coming to you to propose something almost like a salesperson not really um they're here to bring you news of their interests okay now what i'm trying to figure out is what this this five of swords represents um perhaps you've been perhaps they see you as someone that's able to like solve mysteries mm, there's a lot of energies of loss perhaps that's surrounding this five of swords okay and I'm also going to get some clarity about it. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Uh, hmm. Okay. Hmm. This is very weird. Uh, this five of pentacles and the devil showing up this is an energy of like they may have seen how you dealt with some situations again this is this is a group of people that may have been watching you for quite some time and this devil card represents a secret organization um 
they've been sworn to secrecy of some sort. Uh, mm, yep. It's some kind of spiritual organization. Some organization that's connected to some sort of like, some sort of a cosmic mission. And it may be related to, uh, it may be related to your abundance, perhaps changing some things regarding this energy of, hmm. Okay. may need to clarify these okay so let's see tell me more about this five of swords here tell me about this five of swords okay um, they see you as someone who can provide a lot of wisdom, a lot of insight. Perhaps regarding situations having to do with their potential hardships, some things that they've experienced, some cases that they have. Uh, this is definitely a mystery. I'm seeing a lot of mystery here. This, they see as someone who's like highly spiritually advanced and also someone who uh, may be a potential like business partner of some sort. Mm hmm. Okay. Like you see this, you see this um, energy that's coming out, this five of pentacles. I know it's about financial, you know, a lot of times it's about financial hardship. And this image for some reason, like what really stands out, you know, energetically is more so like this person who's got themselves covered and doesn't want to be seen. Okay, these are possibly people um, that may be considered like, like what they do, this organization specifically, they actually may help, um, they may help the majority, like people who are the majority that are experiencing a lot of adversity yet they don't allow themselves to be known they're you know they remain in this energy of like you know secrecy mystery for for a reason i guess this is how they function perhaps this is what's been ordained to them this is how they're able to maintain some sort of balance. Like perhaps they're not supposed to be, people are not supposed to find out about them. Perhaps the divine ordained for them to work this way. Um, in any case, I'm getting this energy that they're, they, they're not well known. Okay. This is a, this is a group of few people who have, basically gathered together or they they've been around for quite some time and they and it's usually something i'm hearing that you're invited to okay this is this is like by invitation only and i'm getting this energy that you have this group they have some sort of an interest in you with this page of wands here this is someone who's like enthusiastically trying to like bring you into something or uh convince you to be a part of something and this is the the work that they do they work to assist and support a majority of people 
that are experiencing a lot of um hardship and some of that hardship is actually physical some is spiritual they help to bring some sort of like energy of balance and this ten of wands represents how the this organization is viewing you they see you as someone who is capable of taking on the task and it's not a task that is taken on by many okay um because this group has been charged with this type of spiritual work to bring balance and order um also this def all this pr also this protective energy like this is this is a group of people who whose aim is to bring some kind of order uh they're they're here to bring some kind of order and balance um you know to the universe to earth And there's some kind of like healing that they're like their work is promoting some kind of healing um, among some majority of people who are experiencing a lot of hardship. Uh, people who are finding it challenging to transition into this new reality, this new dimension, this new awakening. That's what they're here for. Tell me about the star. Yeah, it's about awakening. They're here to help a majority of people transition into this awakened state because they know that there are some folks that are still having a great amount of challenge ascending. This is this is an energy of ascension. This is an energy of like rejoining, rebalancing the cosmos here, finding the strength necessary to go through this awakening process. You'd be surprised, Scorpios. There's a lot of people that are still uh, going through some conflict as it relates to their awakening. They're finding it very challenging. And you get to know that there are a lot of variables involved in why these uh, the energies of these individuals that's coming through here are stagnated and for whatever reason this group of organization again I'm getting like it's a it's a my mystery it's a secret sort of organization because not many people know about them uh, it's a reason why this group exists because you know their task is to assist and support those who are finding it challenging to go through this ascension process and this ascension process i'm getting um it's necessary for something i'm getting that it's ne it may be necessary uh to bring some sort of order justice balance into you know the cosmos you're being sought out by a, a secret organization that seeks to um assist and support those who are having challenges in this ascension process scorpios mm. yeah and you see this world card coming down from up it's like there there are there are a few folks um you know we talk about how there's this awakening is taking place the veil has been lifted you get to know that there are a lot of folks that are still having challenges going through this ascension process scorpios you may not have known this it's like this heavy weight you know almost feels like something is pulling their leg while they're trying to elevate themselves you know and move uh you know in this awakening ascension process something is pulling them down and there are there are 
you know, people, perhaps organizations, um, and this one in particular, whose interest is to assist those who are having challenges in the ascension process. These are builders. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Mm, tell me about this world card. Page of Swords, they're watching. They have their eyes on the world. Their task is to look out. Their, their task is to look out for those who are experiencing um, challenges with ascension, as well as those who are capable of assisting and supporting to uh, assisting and supporting those who uh, need assistance ascending. So they're assisting the ascenders and the ascended. I'm hearing flight. They're guardians. These are guardians. You're being sought after by a, 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 a group of guardians. Who may see you as someone that has ascended yes they do they see you as someone that has ascended and you see the page of swords come out again they're studying you they're watching you they're watching your ascension process and they think that you'd be a good fit that you are indeed one of these guardians that's been sent by the divine to assist and support those going through their ascension process to heal to elevate to travel on to the next phase of elevation because this is what's needed at this time and there's a lot of folks that are very much still stuck because they have these sores in their back and these swords are, are a result of uh, possible generational curses it may have to do with like mental type of like anguish it may have to do with like evil eye that's been sent on them that's keeping them like it's like this this ten of swords is an energy of someone who's literally like I'm getting this image of almost someone who's like stuck at the bottom of the sea with like a ton of breaks and they're looking for someone to remove those breaks so that way they can float up. Mm -hmm. uh, what else do you want us to know about this world card? Hmm. Let's see about this page of swords. What are they looking for exactly? What are they watching for? Let's see. Oh, so good. They see you as this empress. Scorpio, you're connected. You're very much connected. Like the, the empress is like the epitome of someone that has gone through ascension. And literally she, see, she is seated as the queen of her throne. You know, when you see this mother figure, okay, this mother figure represents the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, um, and the Queen of Wands. She's gone through some stuff. She knows some stuff, and they see you in this energy. This is what they're watching, Scorpios. Ooh, they also see your strength, Scorpio. And you know what one of your greatest strengths is? your manifestation energy your manifestation power that's what they're looking for that's what they're looking at you're creative you're beautiful magnetic you're like this queen of pentacles business sense queen of swords very analytical strategic they're looking for someone like that a strategist mm -hmm. oh <laughs> scorpios pardon me Oh, not only are you the queen of swords, you're the queen, of, you're the king of swords as well. Like you, you're like a boss, like this analytical boss. Third eye chakra open. I'm also getting this energy that you have a divine connection to Uranus. They see your rebelliousness energy like you are causing 
you know, things to change. You're causing major changes. This awakening that's happening, you are someone that is seen as a major cause of this awakening. And they think that you can bring success and victory. And a lot of healing, Scorpios. Anything else you want us to know? That's kind of like... Mm, those who are stuck, perhaps. There's number eight coming out again. Manifestation energy. Mm, they're looking. They're looking for people who know the truth. People who are connected to the truth because they are trying to assist and support those that need to know the truth. That's the energy that I'm getting from here. Okay, let's see. Scorpios, that's uh that's a very powerful one there. Okay. <clears throat> Ancestors, give us a word of wisdom regarding this reading Ooh, signs and symbols look out for them scorpios you're an alchemist they see you as this alchemist 38 which equals 11 7 11 7 may be significant queen nefertiti they see you as this alchemist and they see you as the truth someone that brings the truth let's see Let's see, Scorpios. I'm going to read it exactly how it came. Nefertiti came first, the alchemist. Okay, so goddess of alchemy, Egypt, temple queens. So Nefertiti was a legendary Egyptian queen whose name means beauty has come, celebrated as a goddess and her husband's equal. Queen Nefertiti led a spiritual revolution, worshiping Aten, the sun god. They see you as this, Scorpios. They see you as this Queen Nefertiti, someone who's divinely connected to, um, who goes back like your knowledge is ancient as old as time. You know, this queen was one who, along with her husband, you know, understood the power of the sun and they were connected to this. And this group actually sees you as this. Not only does this group sees you as this, you are this queen. You are Queen Nefertiti. Many of you know this. You look like her. Spiritually look like her. Physically look like her. You may have even been told you look like her. It is time. You turn everything that life throws your way into gold. You are on the path to fulfilling your purpose. You are an alchemist. You have the power to bend universal energy. Dare to transmute lead into gold by shifting from fear to love. Everything you desire exists in some form of loving energy. Match this frequency, Scorpios. See it in your mind's eye first. Imagine it. I am love fully. What does it look like? taste and smell like to be loved unconditionally i am happy and healthy see it i am a money magnet what does it feel like goddess declaration everything you touch turns into gold scorpios everything you touch turns into gold queen nefertiti believe it okay so you're the alchemist all right you know this now they know this and you now you know they know this mm-hmm Okay, and you're also a truth teller. You you speak truth. Queen Nunde is saying, Goddess of Truth Benin. Okay, many of you may have a connection to both um, Benin as well as Egypt. Ancient Nubia, I'm hearing. Okay. Um, Nunde, the bold, outspoken wife of Benin, Wa deity Legba. Okay, many of you are Legbas, way openers. Was feeling neglected by her husband. Even with several wives, his head easily turned. So Nunde lived her truth, took her own lover, and became her own best friend. Uh, get real. What is your truth? Truth telling matters. Being able to hear the truth matters just as much. 
Tell the truth. Each person has their own version. Speak yours. Words have impact. Remember that we all have triggers. Think before you speak and listen with compassion. Be gentle and stay calm in truth-telling conversations. God is declaration. The truth is your friend. Well, this King of Swords happened to show up at the end of this reading for a reason. Uh, the divine is letting you know that you are hearing the truth. Now, what you choose to do with that truth is up to you. Okay? You are hearing the truth. Again, take it as it resonates. Many of you know this to be true for you. And many of you also know that this may not be something that resonates with you. And there's a possibility of this too. Okay, you have a strong connection to the continent. Okay, whoever uh, this message is for. A very strong connection to the continent. There may be something that you do having to do with it. Um, specifically, ancient Nubia, I'm hearing. Um, both, both East and West Africa, actually. Both East and Western regions. There may be some connection there. Perhaps you've traveled there. Perhaps there's information for you there. <sighs> That's coming up, Scorpios. Okay, Scorpios, this is the message for you. If this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and divine light.